first one, the first matchup we are going to take a look at today is going to be Patriots and Bills. And I just want to look at the fourth quarter of these both of both of these teams because both of these teams' quarterbacks were struggling coming into this game, and both both of these quarterbacks didn't have a good performance. No quarterback, none of these quarterbacks threw for over 200 yards, folks. So it was just kind of a defensive struggle. But I kind of just want to keep tabs on this New England offense and on this Buffalo offense with Josh Allen, who everybody you know thinks is the best quarterback of all time for some reason. Um, unfortunately, I don't see it that way. But um, you know, I can I can kind of see it when he faces you know the kind of the the bottom of the barrel teams but you know when he's facing the Patriots not they're not even a top tier team either and they kind of struggled so we digress a little bit let's go here uh, first, let's look at the Josh Allen interception. Let's see how bad that was. We know this man has kind of a tendency to turn the ball over. He's kind of cleaned it up a little a little bit, but then we see it kind of break out again. So we can't we can't 100% confirm that this man is taking care of the turnover issues. Um, so let's look at this interception. We'll see how bad it is. And then we'll go from there. Um, then we'll look at these kind of fourth quarter drives that were kind of good. These touchdown field goal drives by the Bills and um, Bills and Patriots. I just kind of want to keep a tab on how well these offenses are. I know the Patriots are struggling because they don't have any wide receivers. And the Bills are struggling because Josh Allen, he's just not taking that next step that everybody kind of anticipated he would three years in. So unfortunate. But here we go. A minute 47. Is this the second quarter? Second quarter. Patriots are able to get three out of it. So we'll go here. <clears throat> Bills Patriots, where are we? Right here. All right, here we go. Maybe. There we go. Whenever you want to load, perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, here we go. Here we go. We are live. We're good. All right. The interception. The Josh Allen interception. Here we go. Let's see how bad it is. Third and eight, pass midfield, driving the ball, and wow, okay, not a good throw at all, and he was trying to target Stephon Diggs, darn, this was a huge missed throw by Josh Allen, threw the ball way too much inside, and this is just a, it looked like, you know, at first glance, this is just a simple comeback route, you know, run five, five to seven yards down the field, hook back real quick, Josh Allen hits you, we'll get it right here, just a comeback, switch, and he just misses him, misses him 100% on Josh Allen, ball wasn't tipped, he wasn't even pressured, this is the, this is one of the simplest routes you'll ever see ran just to kind of come back hook you uh the the more kind of the simplest route is probably just kind of the cross over the middle of the field the second simplest route is the one that josh allen just threw the interception on the comeback seven yard comeback route so unfortunate that's 100 percent his fault and that's what we know of josh allen he just makes some critical mistakes and the fact that the patriots I mean, they probably, you know, they weren't going to see the ball again offensively, especially at this field position. So Cam Newton is able to kind of uh, sustain this drive. We'll keep, we'll keep it here. Yeah, let's keep it here. Let's keep it here. Let's see how Cam Newton responds on a on a, a kind of a sudden turn um, from a defense to offense. And they're only down four at this point with a minute thirty. They've got plenty of time. So we see an incomplete pass here on his first throw, and it looks truly not good. I try to go to number 16 there on the crossing route, but just not accurate. And that's kind of what we see. These short throws by Cam Newton are just not accurate at all. I mean, I'm not here just shitting on Josh Allen. I'll shit on Cam Newton, too. This man's not looking good either. Um, here is the play action. Just kind of these throws over the middle, 10 yards. That was good. That was a strike. I'll give him that one. He proves me wrong on that one as soon as I talk shit about him. Classic. Um, here we go. But they're moving the ball. Picked up the first down to give him 10 yards on that. Clock's moving. They've got one timeout, and they're looking good so far. Drops back. Once again, high, just so short, kind of intermediate routes. Cam Newton, he struggles with the accuracy so much, and I don't get it, man. You need to make those kind of intermediate. If the, if the deep ball accuracy wants to be off, okay, I guess we can say that. But when you're not making those short throws, those kind of medium yard throws, five, seven yards down the field, and you can't even make those accurately, man, that frustrates your offense, man. That does, I'll tell you. Um, all right, here we go. Second and 10 now. Cam Newton once again drops back to pass. Dumps it out. Good. Well done. Just finds your safety blanket. They keep moving. Cam Newton wants to go big. I mean, Izzo, he caught the ball, but nobody's around him, and he still has to go to the ground because the ball is not thrown good, folks. Cam Newton, 
man, got to clean up the accuracy a lot, a lot, truly. This is not good quarterback play. Yes, they're moving the ball, but, I mean, they're just kind of getting lucky. Everybody's so wide open that they can stumble while catching the ball and still kind of turn it around for yards after catch for, like, two or three extra yards. So Cam Newton's got to, got to clean it up. Look at this. Wide open. Nobody's within, like, seven yards of this man, and he has to fall to the ground catching the ball. You cannot do that. Put it on him. Let him get yards at the catch. Turn it upfield. Potentially make a big play. All right. Let's um, – because I didn't even expect to watch this drive. But anyway. And look at this. Man. Can't – it's a yard, folks. He's like – this is like a five-yard pass, and it's not even accurate. It's not even close to being accurate. Just look at look, folks, man. This is what they're working with, working with in New England. I get that they don't have any big name receivers, but this man isn't even getting the ball close to hit the receivers that he has already. This is truly why we can't buy this Patriots team or Cam Newton in general, and it, it it sucks because I did want kind of Cam Newton to have a good bounce back season to kind of you know prove his career you know overall in totality was a decent kind of above average career MVP made it to the Super Bowl didn't win it but you know wanted this man to have success in his possibly his last years in the league. All right, um, we're gonna skip this touchdown because I've already saw too much of the offense. So now we'll start with the Bills here. This was huge. I mean, Josh Allen to lead them down um, in the fourth quarter tie game, and then you lead them down for a field goal. So let's watch this. Why did this Buffalo Bills drive kind of stall? Why haven't we seen a lot of touchdowns by the Bills these last two weeks? Remember last week against the Jets, all they scored were field goals in that game, 18 points all off of field goals. So let's kind of see what is still continuing on those troubles from last week to this week with Josh Allen. We'll take a look at this clip here. Um, just kind of see how this kind of Bills offense is working. We already saw what New England's offense were, was working with is Cam Newton just being very inaccurate. So here we go. We'll start it up here. Nine minutes left in the fourth quarter. This was a great drive. Five minutes, ten plays. Got a field goal out of it. Took time off the clock. Able to get the lead. That's a perfect drive, folks, truly. It didn't end in a touchdown. That's unfortunate. But you were still able to get points out of drives. And that's really the main concern, to get something out of these drives. Yes, you kind of want to score touchdowns more than field goals. We saw it last week with the Jets. I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is that to kind of prove it to your offense, to kind of not have a kind of rift in that offensive kind of locker room is to score points. And if the Bills are scoring points, they're going to kind of forget the the inaccuracies of Josh Allen. So here we go. First play, uses his legs. I think he's a good runner. He's a decent runner. I think he's actually got more yards than Patrick Mahomes. That's always kind of a wild stat to kind of look at. But um, he fumbles a lot, so he has to um, shore up that ball security. But, yeah, I mean, if he shores that up, I've got no problem with him running the ball. No, no worries at all. So here we go, second and seven. Hand it off. All right. Picked up the first there. Josh Allen trying to pass again. Let's see. Steps up in the pocket, keeps his eyes downfield. Nice little pass there. Picked up ten. Here we go. <clears throat> Hand it off. Great pass. Great balance of run and pass here on this drive. Love to see it. Got to be a multi-dimensional team in this league. We see what happens, you know, when Aaron Rodgers can't throw the ball 40 times. They only put up, you know, 20 points and lose the game. So, all right, here we go with another first and 10. So, they're just picking up all these first downs, making it easy on them. Then they only pick up two there. One there. Even worse. All right, Josh Allen, let's see what you got. Second and nine. This is most likely a passing down. Quick little wide receiver screen there. Set up very well, but, I mean, this is just good play design by Sean McDermott. Um, scheming your ways to get the ball in your the playmakers quickly, um, you know, not letting Josh Allen throw it, you know, 10 yards down the field. This is, you know, two yards in the backfield. And the screen is just set up. It's executed very well. Great blocking. All right, here we go again. Josh Allen hands it off. They're kind of stopping the running game a little bit here. They're like, we want Josh Allen to throw the ball, please. Yes, <laughs> please let him throw the ball. Five minutes left. Tie game. Second and 11 in the red zone. Josh Allen. Decent pass there. Not the best accuracy. You saw Stephon Diggs kind of had to circle around to get the ball, but still decent throw. Picked up a couple there, but it's still third and five. 
We know they settle for a field goal, so probably don't pick it up here, but let's see why. Was it Josh Allen's fault? Let's see. Third and five. Try, need five for the first down here. Josh Allen scrambles, keeps the play alive. He makes a decent throw. I mean, he gave his ch his receiver a chance at the ball and no chance of being intercepted. So I actually like the throw there. I do like the decision. Unfortunately, it's incomplete, but there's going to be incompletions in games. Yeah, let's see if we get another angle here. Is this just a little too low? Oh, man, that's got to be called. That's a great throw by Josh Allen, truly. Damn, that should, thankfully the Bills won this game um, with this field goal, so well done there, but that, that, that was a great ball by Josh Allen. I'll give him that one. See, that's what I like about Josh Allen. That's why I can buy Josh Allen just a little bit. Like Some of these throws he makes are actually really good. It's just kind of those head scratchers on those interceptions that we just saw as well. It's just like, why, why, why? Just be more accurate with the ball. Um, but that's, that's Patriots and Bills, and I was going to go on this drive as well. We'll quickly go through this drive. I, don't, I really don't want to spend this much time on our first uh, matchup. But let's go to this Patriots drive that it was, you know, game potential game-winning drive. And Cam Newton just fumbles it away. I mean, so we'll go here. This was a 12-play drive. This was a long drive as well. What happened on this offense? Is it still Cam just being inaccurate? I'm sure it is. We'll see what it is. But here they go. Now Patriots are down three because of the field goal the Bills just got. We just saw. Patriots start their drive with a nice little rush, and it picked up six, so well done. All right, here we go. Cam Newton throwing. Looked like his arm got hit there, but once again, just not great. Um, we won't rewind that. It, it did look like his arm was hit. Uh, third and four now. Huge, huge conversion. They're three and eight on the day up to this point, so we'll see. Can Cam Newton once again pick it up? Third and eight. Three and eight on first downs uh, at this point of the game. It's not good, so... Nice. There it is. The slant over the middle. Sometimes it's there. I mean, more times it's not there than it is there. But when it's there, and that looks really good. Low and away. Perfect throw. All right. What happened on this play? I think we skipped it. First and 10. They try to run it. Bill's shutting down the run. Letting. I mean, they're like, hey, we're going to, we're going to, let you have Cam Newton beat us because we don't think he can. So we're going to stop the run. That's what the Bills are thinking right now. And that's really the best game plan to have. They have no real deep threats at receivers. Cam Newton's not looking great these last couple weeks. Absolutely. I would press him. I would just stop the run. Nice little comeback route there. He was able to get it off. The pressure was coming and he did stay cool, calm, collected in the pocket. So Cam Newton, I mean, it's not all bad with Cam Newton. It's always just not good, unfortunately. Cam Newton stands in the pocket, just dumps it off. That's nothing. This is all wide receiver, all running back, actually. Second and three now. Play action, just kind of a designed keeper by Cam, and it works. It catches him off guard. Well done. That was a great, that was a great run. Great play design. Great play call. <laughs> They're going to try to do that again, and he's going to get a little too, uh, a little too slick with it, and he's going to fumble the ball. Unfortunate. Um, here we go. Cam Newton, play action. They actually run it. Second and seven. Went too far there. <laughs> Pitch again. I mean, so we get a big, uh, a good picture of what this Patriots offense is. It's a lot of dink and dunk. It's a lot of quick. It's a lot of run. It's a lot of misdirection still because they don't have that receiver that can go deep, and they really don't trust Cam Newton's arm to go deep like that. So it's all just quick, quick, quick. Nothing, you know, <clears throat> methodical drives, not not pressing anything down the field. Third and one, it's a pitch play, toss to the left, picks up the first, but that's really it. Maybe an extra yard. All right, 41 seconds left, Cam Newton play action. That was a setup screen, so once again, just quickly getting the ball out of Cam's hands. In, in this kind of style does work, the kind of up-tempo, quick, everything's quick, nothing's kind of more than five yards out. We see him fumble here, but the problem with that kind of run, running that kind of scheming offense of everything over the middle quickly is that you have to run a lot of plays, and now there's more room for error, as we just saw. We saw there was like 12 plays in this drive, 12th play is going to catch up to you at some point. That's why you can't rely on going dink and dunk for the entire game because you're going to make turnovers or just careless mistakes because because there's so many more opportunities. You're not running seven play drives. These are 12, 15 play drives. So, you know, you're doubling the chances that something is going to go wrong in a play like we just saw here. Cam Newton fumble. So unfortunate. But that's what we're lo looking with with the Bills and the Patriots. I mean, just great. Nothing great. Nothing great, truly. Can't buy Cam Newton. I can buy Josh Allen a little bit. 
I was actually very impressed on that kind of late um, driving um, potentially with the touchdown should have been caught, but that was a good ball there. But yeah, cannot buy this Patriots team. Cam's not looking good. He's turning the ball over. They've got nothing that's promising offensively where at least Buffalo, I mean, they are throwing the ball down the field attempts to get Stefan Diggs the ball. So um, that's Bills Patriots. 